from Indy Streaming News Leader. This is a WRTV update. I'm Nicole Griffin bringing you the latest WRTV headlines. Veterans living at Indy's largest homeless veteran shelter are still recovering after losing everything they own in a fire. The fire forced the evacuation of four dozen veterans last Saturday, helping veterans and families of Indiana place the vets in three Indy hotels for a month. Inside HVAF, a temporary pantry is set up where they can pick up necessities. A wish list was created for each vet and more than 3,000 pounds of donations from Amazon have been delivered. I got to look at it like I never had it because I just don't want to grieve over something like that when so many people, you know, are alive. It's the greatest story to be told, you know, no matter what happened, Wish for our heroes and IMS are hosting a drive for non-perishable items and donations Saturday at the Brickyard cross Crossing parking lot. Volunteers will collect non-perishable food, hygiene items, socks and other clothing from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. How would you like to buy an old school? The former John Marshall High School is about to go back on the market after a deal to purchase it fell through. The city of Indianapolis planned to buy the building on 38th and Midhoffer, then turn it over to a nonprofit so it could become a community center. But the idea was called off when the city estimated it would take $18 million to repair the building. IPS is opening it up and opening the bid process again later this month. They hope whoever buys it will build something great for the Far East Side. To really make sure that what comes next for that property is something that, that really enhances and brings value and investment into that, into that community. And so we are still committed to that process. That's what this next decision point will be, is really to determine you know, what the future of that site could look like. John Marshall was the last high school built by IPS. It opened in 1967, closed in 1986, then reopened as a middle school and closed for good in 2018. For more stories and weather you need to know, download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.